All right, home maintenance masonry here again, getting ready to do another job. Today we're going to be doing a stone job and some repair work on some cracks on the house. So uh, the front sidewalk and the porch has settled. Mainly the porch has settled. Come on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hey, Mark. So what we're doing is we're going to cover this whole entire sidewalk. And you can see where well, anytime you put wood down in, down in, in an expansion joint, What's going to happen is it's going to allow water to go down in it. When water goes down in it, it creates cavities. And if you'll notice, this whole sidewalk is separated. Matter of fact, it used to be years ago uh, close, real tight with this wood. But now the wood is just, I just pull the wood up. You'll notice that. Now look how big the space is. So that's a problem. When we get through, we're going to fill that in. You'll never see it. Same way right here. We're going to get rid of this. But the, the main thing is, is look at this porch. You'll notice this whole porch is settled. Now I've got some stones just laid out. And what we've done was we laid these stones out to show the homeowner uh, how this is going to look. And she loves it. But what I want you to see how we're going to resolve a problem is this whole front porch is dropped and settled. Sit about right here and face it, and I'm going to show what I'm talking about. This whole porch has dropped. It's fell down this way. Most people would say, Mark, Mark, Mark. Anyway, when I get through covering this, it's going to be beautiful. I'm going to cover it with some real pretty stone, and we're going to level it out as we cover it. All the stone work. It's going to be covered with real pretty stone. And we build on top of it. We're going to build it where it has a slight fall. Once we get through doing that, then we're going to cover the sidewalk. And once we get through covering the sidewalk, this is all going to be done. We're going to give a beautiful look. We're going to solve the problem of the porch where most people will say, let's tear it all out and start all over. Then you spend money and you build it back out of brick and you get the same result. Same old, same old. We're changing everything. Look how pretty these brown stones goes with this stucco on this house this overall real pretty brown. So this is going to flow real good and it's going to improve and, 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 uh, and solve all these issues. If you ever need any work like this, go to repairsforyourhome.com and look at all the services that we provide. We do brick work, block, concrete, stucco, stone, iron work. We do a lot of different things and we can help you. All right, we're going to show you some more videos of how this thing looks as we're going, but we're going to give you a final video of today once we get through with it, what it looks like. and and how we've solved all these issues. There also are some cracks on the house. Come here and I'll show you some cracks. We're gonna do something to those too. See up here on the top of this porch? I mean on top of this, uh, of this garage doors right here, there's cracks. And you can see the whole they put some caulk in it, and a lot of times that's what they'll do, they'll put caulk. But see, we do it with real mortar, is what we do it with. So we're going to clean these out and fill that in with mortar. Uh, that's what we're going to do right there. Also on the other side of the house, there's a crack and I'm going to show it to you also. We're going to do it. Y'all come on, bring the stones on. Also, she's hired us to clean this brick wall over here and these columns. And the reason why is these columns is they're actually part of the entrance to the subdivision, but they're on her side of the, of the property, of her property, and they just look a mildewy and stuff, and you can see all the mildew on them. You see the top, see how the top's got a lot of mildew? See how that right there's got a lot of mildew on it? See how black it is? She wants that clean. All right, here's another uh, thing that we're gonna fix. Right here on this house, this wall has dropped. And the reason why it's dropped is because there, this window right here, anytime there's a window, it can cause it to be, to have a weak point in it. Causes it to have a breaking point. So what we're gonna do is, the simplest thing to do is to chisel out the cracks and fill the cracks in. 
there are some companies out there that will sell you the moon and the stars and they'll try to get you to buy them because they will scare you into putting what's called a helical pier system underneath this. So what they want to sell you on is going up underneath it and supporting it and they promise you they'll kind of jack it, jack it up, which they can't. And when they do that, they'll get you signed a piece of paper that says if any sheetrock on the inside cracks, if anything cracks in the process on the inside sheetrock or anything cracks, they're not responsible. And people uh, sign this all day long, and they get this done, and it don't, and it doesn't do any good. It's just throwing money away. Now that's my honest opinion. You can believe what you believe. I believe what I believe because I know what I'm doing. Here's the key to it. This is how I know. If they sold you any 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 company that you want to call out to come to your house to do a helical pier system up underneath this, because you see a crack just like this. You see this crack. So you, you get in the yellow pages, you start calling the companies. They come out and they say you need a helical pier. Well, these companies will not finish the job. Now let me explain to you what I mean by not finishing the job. If they come out here and do a helical pier system, which I think is the wrong thing to do, the simplest thing to do is to, is to fill in the cracks because that's what you see, that's the reason why you start calling people is because you see these cracks. So if they sell you on a helical pier system, and they give you some big warranty. The warranty don't mean nothing because, to begin with, they're not finishing the job. But what I mean by that, let me. What I mean by that is that let me explain myself. If they don't fill in the cracks after they get through doing the helical pier, this helical pier system that they're trying to sell you, then they're not finishing their job. So therefore, don't hire them. Now, I'm telling you, don't hire them because anybody that doesn't finish the job you don't need to hire them. They'll tell you that you'll have to hire somebody else to do the cracks. Well, let me just tell you what's going on. They are taking the liability, their liability, completely out. All these foundation companies have got together. There's a bunch of them. I'm not going to name all of them, but go to your yellow pages and look under foundational repairs, and you'll see a bunch of them. Call every one of them to come out to look at your house, just like this right here, just like she did me. And she's done had several quotes. Mine was the cheapest. Cheapest ain't always the best, but the simplest to simplify things, what I'm going to do is really all it needs to be done. These companies will sell you on three or four helical piers. They're about $1,200 a piece. And once they get through selling that to you, they won't even fill in the cracks right there. They won't fill them in. And the reason why is because they've been sued so many times that all the foundation companies have got together and say, listen, they've all concluded as a business that they will, they will not fill in cracks anymore and the reason why they don't want to fill them in is because they've been sued so many times and the lawyers and they've all got together and they realize one thing let's don't fill in cracks anymore because if we, as long as we keep filling in cracks the problem is we got to keep coming back and fixing them because we're giving them a warranty so the warranty uh, gets people uh, interested in it because they feel like they got a warranty but the fact of the matter is is if they don't fill in the cracks how are you going to know that it's ever moved you're not going to know that it's moved because of the fact that they have not filled in the cracks. And so what I'm telling you is, is that what we're doing is real simple. We're going to fill in the cracks. And you can hire whoever you want to hire to do the job. But in my opinion, they have taken out the liability in their, in their field of structural work because you'll never know that it's moved if they don't fill in the cracks. So what they've done is, is they don't do it. They won't hire me. In other words, if, uh, if you hired them to do it and you ask them, can you give us uh, somebody that, that could come out and fill in the cracks? They won't even give you a reference. They won't give you nobody. And the reason why is because it could still come back to haunt them. It, could still, it still could come back to them because they recommended somebody. Okay, so what it is is they don't hire, they don't recommend anybody, and they, they just try to sell you a, a something that they don't need to be selling. But people are buying it, and as far as I'm concerned, I don't believe in it. I don't think helical peers are doing any good. I think it makes things worse. And, to, and, and the most simplest thing to do is, is to hire me, somebody that's here to help you, chisel out the cracks and fill in the cracks. That's the simplest thing to do. But people make so many mistakes of hiring these companies to come in to raise things up. But the main thing is, if they, if they will not fill in these cracks after they do a helical pier, don't hire them. If you've got a company that you want to do business with and they said they will fill in the cracks and actually finish the job, then might, you might want to do business with them. But I don't know any companies that do that. All foundation companies will sell you on a pier, but they won't finish the job. Can I give you an example of that? If you came to, uh, if I had a, if I had a tire business, and you came to my place of business, and you wanted me to put brand new tires on your car, 
And, and I said, yeah, I'll do that, but the problem is, is you'll have to hire somebody else to take the nuts and screw the nuts on, to tighten down the nuts. I don't do that. You would not never give them the business, because logically, if somebody takes the nuts off, they need to put the nuts back on. Here's the key to what I'm trying to tell you. The, the liability in the tire business, in any tire business, the liability is that when they do a business with people, the most important thing is that their employees takes a, a torque wrench and tightens down the nut so that when that person leaves their place of business, that tire business, that the wheel doesn't fall off. See, it's a liability if the wheel falls off and there's a, and there's a wreck. It can come back and haunt the company because they didn't tighten down the nuts. What the foundation companies have done is they don't fill in the cracks. They have taken the liability completely out. There's, you can't go after them because, listen, they ain't even finished a job. They've done a part of it, but they haven't done all of it. Same way with the tire company. If they told you they don't, they, they, that they'll do, that do this, but they won't, they won't tighten down the nuts, you're not, it makes sense. You won't do business with them. But see, the reason why they go ahead and tighten the nuts down is because they finished their work. They're actually finishing and completing the job. But they're going to make sure if they're, if, they're in, if they're good business, they're going to torque, torque it down so that the nuts are tight. So that when that person leaves, they won't have a wreck and the wheel won't fall off. So the, the keys that I'm trying to tell you and to warn you is to watch out for these companies that all they want to do is sell you in a helical pier, but they won't do the cracks. And that's all I'm trying to tell you. You make a decision for yourself. If you ever need somebody to come out and look at something for you to evaluate it, I will be more glad to come give you a free estimate on any structural cracks. We're going to show you what this, like, what this looks like right now. You need to see up here above this. All this right here is going to be filled in when I get through with it. I'm going to chisel the cracks out and fill it in. It's very, very simple. And if you ever need this done, please give us a call. Go to our website, repairsforyourhome.com. We're going to show you some more videos of the, of the stonework that we're doing. Um, some companies may come in there and want to try to raise that porch up. Well, you know, once you raise something up, in my opinion, what we're doing is we're going to use that as structural. We're just going to cover it. So there's a lot of things that we can do that can save a homeowner a lot of money and solve the problem. So I hope you understand that some of the things I've said to you today as far as these structural cracks are concerned is you have to be real careful who you hire because as far as I'm concerned, if they will not fill in the cracks after they get through, they're not doing their job. So until next time, goodbye and God bless you and I hope you considered all the things that I've told you. Thank you so much. All right, home maintenance master here again, getting ready to do another job. Uh, we've already showed you. The, the befores, now we're kind of going to show you what it looks like during. Right now we're, we've already laid the top of the porch, which we fixed the porch because the porch was running downhill. So we built on top of it and built it where it had a slight fall. And also we're covering the sidewalk. So come on, I'll show you what it looks like. As you can see, we've already laid a, a, the porch and the sidewalk. We're coming down now and we're going to start to basically cover every bit of this. You see they've already got a pretty good bit going. All that's got to be sponged and clean. I'm going to show you some more. They've already got the top of the porch. All that's built. It looks beautiful. The homeowner's done looked at it. She loves it. And we're laying the sidewalk. So as we're going this way, We're going to cover all this sidewalk. So just kind of showing you a little bit. Scott, don't put no mortar between. I don't want no mortar. Just run it over to it. It don't look like the mortar outside of that. And all this right here is looking good. We laid it like we want it. We're going to show you another. The next, the next one that we show you, we're going to show you with it all kind of sponged. It's going to be a little messy once we sponge it. But just remember, we're going to come back and we're going to press wash and clean it. Then you'll see the rest of what it looks like. Thank you so much. Repairsforyourhome.com. Go to it, please. Repairsforyourhome.com to look at more of our work. Thank you so much. Goodbye. All right. As you've noticed, we've got the whole thing laid. It's looking good. We're in the process of making it uh, more smoother. And what we're doing is we're fine-tuning it. So we're taking sponges and we're going around and around and we're cleaning it. So come on up here. I'll show you what we're doing. The process of what we've been doing with this, as we're going, in the summertime, things are a little bit different, but in the wintertime, 
we have to do things a little bit different. So what we're doing is sponging this smooth. You can see it smears a little bit, but when we come back and pressure wash and clean it, you'll never see it. You'll see all the stones. So it's just uh, the process of what we're doing, but what we're doing is making it better. It looks a little messier, but it's going to be better once it's pressure washed and clean. So that's what we're doing. You kind of see as we're doing this. All it is is our workmanship. Know what, know what to do, know, know what not to do. I got a bucket over here. Kind of laying down, guys. All right. Trying to get down here where I can see it real good. Laying down on the job. Bring it over here. Anyway, we're gonna show you one more video after we get through with it. It's looking real good. The homeowner loves it. And once we come back and clean this we'll show you another video and you'll really see how good it looks we want you to call us please call us go to repairsforyourhome.com and click on to the contact page and look at all the telephone numbers and uh, call us or email us at repairsforyourhome.com steve at repairsforyourhome.com thank you so much all right, well, we're getting ready to leave. Float right now is getting ready to do the final little touches right there. We've got it all smoothed and sponged, and we've got it caution off so nobody will uh, walk on it. And uh, we're getting ready to, to head to the house now. And it's all been done. The whole entire uh, walkway has been laid, and it is looking really, really good. You can see she's got all kinds of plants. Now, see, when you look at these flowers, who created them? God. And one thing about it is it gives her peace. That's why she has so many real pretty pansies and flowers and pots because she loves it. Well, that's what's so good about this stone is because, see, God created all those flowers and God created all these stones. So it's his creation and just, and I can tell you right now, this right here will give you peace because of the fact that it's, it's made by him. So, and they are already just loving it. I mean, they love everything that we've done so far. And I've got it all caution off. You can see the caution tape, so we don't want nobody to walk on it. But once we come back and clean this whole entire area. But the main thing is, is this porch had dropped so much that uh, everybody else said, well, it's all busted out, it's all over. Well, I came in and sewed it on, covered it, and there it is. It's all been covered and fixed. Now it has a slight fall, and it is beautiful. And that's looking back that way. And once we come back and clean all this, it's going to look great. Repairsforyourhome.com. Float, wave to him and tell him bye. Hi, guys. <laughs> He's saying bye. He wants you to know that he wants you to call call us so he can go to work and all of us go to work. Right there is uh, my truck and my trailer. See, my mixer and everything, we mix everything up inside that trailer right there. And what happens is, is we will boil everything down uh, to the job. Now, look how clean this, the street is. We just got through washing down the street. See, when we leave, everything is real clean. I mean, look at this. All washed down. There, I mean, there's... All of this has been clean. The main thing is, is you want things clean. And this is the front of the house. It's a pretty nice house. Two car garage right there. But that's where we just got through working at. But anyway, we want you to call us. Go to repairsforyourhome.com. My name is Steve Reed. Goodbye and God bless you. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you and goodbye.